Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today I'm going to cover the Tube Vita homebrew application for PS Vita and this is a replacement to the old YouTube application that is no longer supported and today is April 20th, 2020 and it's been five years that they stopped support on this app and I'm not sure why and I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube, I love watching all sorts of different videos on there, and I love creating content. So, not having this app on the Vita is heartbreaking, and I know a lot of people use YouTube on their Vita before this time, and yeah, if you start the app, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, so you get the error, CO-11281-3, and there's no way around it and everybody gets this error code and you can't really do much you try to select something you can search up but it won't do it there is no history go to the Google website so let's say let's type in Robles Jr. there it is the error Let's go back here. Now for the most part, Tube Vita works. Not every single video will work though. Uh, I was testing it out a few days ago and you get this weird error that says, hey, I can't play this video or whatever. And you can sign in and it's using the web browser and it's on the mobile. I don't think this is the desktop. This is the mobile version of YouTube. And let's just, uh, let's see here, let's search up some of my videos. So let's just type in PSP, right? Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so I'm not at the top, unfortunately. Where am I? I'm nowhere to be found, guys. I got to do a better job, right? Wow, I'm not on the top 25. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go back on top and say PSP hack. Now it should pop up as one of the first. There we go. So here is my video. Let's click on that. And I am using the touch screen. When you use the D-pad, you will get this little finger and you can move around with your analog. And you can sign in and do all that fun stuff. Comment, subscribe, and hit the like button and all that. So let's see what happens if I hit the play button. 12 minutes and 40 seconds. There's my intro. <laughs> So yeah, this is a great replacement to the old Next you can app connect your five volt AC and down. watch your YouTube videos, no problem. Perfect. And that way you guys can always stay connected on my channel at all times, even on your Vita. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at how we can install this application. Let's go to our Vita shell. And I like to show the Vita shell connection because there's a lot of new users and they might not understand completely how Vita shell works after they get their system hacked. So once you're in Vita shell, you have two options to connect to your PC. The first one and the most used is the USB connection. The second one is the FTP connection, which is a connection through your PC via internet connection. Pressing start will take you to the main settings and going to USB device. You want to make sure you have your storage selected to the correct uh, path here. So I'm on my SD2 Vita and your select button is going to be either the FTP client or the USB connection. So I'll leave it on FTP client here. Perfect. And press select and now your FTP server will be running or your USB connection will be enabled. And now you can plug in your cable and you should see it pop up on your PC or Mac. Let's head on over to our desktop here. I'm going to enable my FTP client and I'm using FileZilla for the most part. 
there we go quick connect since it's already been in my history and head on over to the first link in the description I'll take you to github.com and the latest release by the hero GAC the developer here uh, May 14 2019 so it is a year old and it is working stable version 1.07 so click on this link here, the 2beta.vpk. Let's click on that. And it's 1.83 megabytes in size. Let's show in our folder. Apologize for all this stuff showing up here. I'm working on a lot of different projects. Uh, let's open up our UXO folder or whichever folder you have um, configured on your Vita. So let's go to VPK folder here. This is where I throw all of my VPKs. That way it's a lot easier for me to find. So just copy that onto that folder. And if you have the USB connection, USB device, just send that over to your USB drive and you're good to go. So let's go back on our Vita. Let's disconnect from that. Go to our UXO folder or whichever folder you have the VPK copied over. Here's VPK and VitaTube. Oh, Tube Vita, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1.83 megabytes. Press X to start the installation and it will ask you for permission. And just press X again. It should install and now you're good to go. So, yeah, make sure you have your Wi Fi connection enabled in order for Tube Vita to work and you'll be all set to watch all of my videos and all of my tutorials and all that good stuff that way you stay updated just kidding <laughs> but yeah like the developer said in his notes there this is the mobile app version of YouTube which is working fine So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. I know this is kind of a random video, but I wanted to do it just because it's been five years since they closed out the old official YouTube app. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.